I'm inviting you to join me on my quest to discover the most exciting cryptocurrencies. Blockchain has the potential to revolutionize major worldwide industries. And the cool thing is, it's just getting started. So where to begin? With so many projects out there, it can seem overwhelming. But that's why I've created this web series. To research and summarize what the coin is and what potential it has to conclude the inherent value of the coin. Welcome back to Crypto Coin Quest. Today's episode is on Polygon, Matic. So this is an article that's on Decrypt by Daniel Phillips, pretty recent, a couple months ago, and he gives a pretty good explanation of what Polygon is. It's basically a framework for building interconnected blockchain networks. It seeks to address Ethereum's major limitations, you know, delayed transactions, high gas fees, scalability problems, and rather than being simply a scaling solution like its predecessor, the Matic network, which uses a technology known as Plasma to process transactions off-chain before finalizing them on the Ethereum main chain, Polygon is designed to be an entire platform designed for launching interoperable blockchains. Through Polygon, developers can launch preset blockchain networks with attributes tailored to their needs. These can be further customized with a growing range of modules which allow developers to create sovereign blockchains with more specific functionality. So how does it work? There's the proof of stake chain. So Polygon's main chain is an Ethereum side chain known as the Matic proof of stake chain, which adds proof of stake security layer to blockchains launched on Polygon. So we all know how proof of work is not so eco-friendly and proof of stake is kind of the way to go now. It's more efficient, it's faster, it's eco-friendly. So this is a bullish sign for Polygon at this very moment. The Plasma chains, so Polygon does still make use of scaling technology known as Plasma to move assets between the root chain and the child chain via Plasma bridges. There's also the ZK rollups, which is an alternative scaling solution used to bundle a large number of transfers off-chain into a single transaction using zero-knowledge proofs for the final public record on the Ethereum main chain. And finally, there's these optimistic rollups, which is a solution that runs on top of Ethereum to facilitate near instant transactions through the use of fraud proofs. So they do intend to incorporate more than one scaling solution in keeping with its goal of minimizing barriers to entry by attempting to reduce transaction fees to a bare minimum. Now, by taking a multi-pronged approach to the issue of scaling, Polygon is hedging its bets should any other scaling solution fail to accomplish its purpose. So moving on to news of Polygon. SushiSwap just went live on Polygon last week. Polygon announced a strategic partnership with SushiSwap DeFi. The blockchain now supports DeFi platform with 30 million USD rewards for liquidity providers. One Inch Network. Some more news from Cointelegraph. One Inch Network increases liquidity sources by expanding to Polygon. So Polygon offers One Inch Network more capabilities, including higher throughput and access to large liquidity pools. One Inch announced Thursday that the exchange liquidity pools will be added immediately with more protocols to be gradually phased in over time. Polygon was described by OneInch as a vital infrastructure protocol for ensuring efficient Ethereum scaling as the developer network transitions to proof of stake. Telcoin, this is a coin that I reviewed earlier last week. So yeah, Telcoin upgraded the protocol to layer two migration by the Polygon network, which allowed trading on QuickSwap. They saw massive gains as a result of that. So looking at their Twitter, uh, they, they just launched on KuCoin on May 13th. Thrilled to announce Matic is listed on one of the world's top exchanges, KuCoin Exchange. Um, they're very, very active, posting multiple posts every day on their Twitter. Ethereum's Internet of Blockchains aims to transform Ethereum into a multi-chain ecosystem with secured Layer 2 chains and standalone chains. So let's look at the technology of Polygon, the foundation for the Internet of Value and People. Polygon provides the core components and tools to join the new borderless economy and society. With Polygon, any project can easily spin up a dedicated blockchain network, which combines the best features of standalone blockchains, which is sovereignty, scalability, flexibility, and Ethereum, security, interoperability, and developer experience. Additionally, these blockchains are compatible with all the existing Ethereum tools, MetaMask, MyCrypto Remix, and can exchange messages among themselves and with Ethereum. Polygon technology is materialized through two major components, the Polygon framework and the Polygon protocol. So the framework is the one-click deployment, growing set of modules, uh, pluggable consensus staking governance, EVM, execution environments, dispute resolvers, etc. 
protocol is the arbitrary message passing between any two participating polygon chains, as well as between Polygon and Ethereum. Security as a service. Non-mandatory, modular security services provided either by Ethereum directly or by a dedicated set of validators. So a lot of flexibility here for developers, a lot of ease of use as well. And so far we're seeing the adoption as a result of this ease of use. So, and from the user end, I mean, especially the investor end, you can stake your Matic. You can stake as little as one, it looks like. Um, I just put one here, and if you, it says on a 365 day for a year, you're gonna get 16.8% uh, on staking. So what are the pros? Uh, clear cut, focused goal, tons of adoption, high level of use case with clear track record of improving scalability. And it's available to buy on a ton of exchanges like Binance, KuCoin, Coinbase, Huobi, Uniswap, Whitebit, Hotbit. You can buy it anywhere. What are the cons? The team does have 16% of the token supply and another 21.86% in the foundation. So it's not too uncommon for this kind of tokenomics, but for the more skeptical folks, they're sure to keep an eye on those wallets. The rebranding from Matic to Polygon could cause minor confusion for those that are new to the space. Though the rebranding was pretty seamless and the project has only gotten more focused on being a scalability solution since and thus gained a ton of adoption and recognition. Polygon is a very smart and focused project that sets out to solve the biggest issues with scalability of Ethereum and other networks. Layer 2 is the future and no one wants to deal with those slow speeds, the front running, the high gas fees anymore. As of today, there's $85.2 billion locked in the DeFi space. Now, Polygon's success is almost a no-brainer with their ability to improve upon the space. The coin has been going up non-stop since yesterday, and I could still see this as a top 10 market cap coin in the very near future, which would be a 2x from current price of $1.64. The circulating supply is 6.1 billion. The market cap right now is 10 billion. Um, yeah, I could see top 10 putting it at a 20 billion market cap, no problem in the very near future. Considering how rapid adoption has been and how successful the coins have been that have adopted it, I can definitely see this happening. So very bullish on the project. I look forward to the next big news coming for it. Uh, please do let me know if I missed anything about Polygon. Let me know in the comments below. You know, I'm still learning about the project. I'm happy to hear about any news on it that you guys might hear that I don't know of. i um, happy to hear it, happy to read all the comments. So until next time, keep your portfolio strong and your hands stronger.